given scenario. You have an email address that people send attachments to and you have to do some sort of processing to those attachments, whether that be copying them to a certain folder, updating a database with information, or some sort of payment processing. There are hundreds of emails to sort through, decipher, etc., and it is a tedious job. The inbox receives the attachments and there is a manual process of logging into the email, searching for emails with the desired attachment, downloading, and then processing those attachments in some way. It's a bit time consuming and you feel a waste of your time. If only you can automate downloading those attachments, it would speed up your processing time drastically. Well, you can. Python to the rescue. With Python and a few libraries, it is possible. You can have a script cycle over all the emails in that inbox, find the ones that have a particular attachment that you need, download it to a local folder, folder and move the email to a subfolder under inbox. It is all possible and relatively easy, and I will show you how it's done using Python. If you have any questions, please contact us at hello at aipsolutions.tech. Let's begin. I created this test mailbox as you can see. There are three emails in here. The first has two attachments, an image and a PDF. The second has one attachment and the third has no attachments. Let's create a folder that we want the process emails to move to. That way they are not reprocessed incorrectly. Okay, so our goal is to have three attachments downloaded and two emails moved in the end. Begin by importing all of our libraries, imaplab, SSL, email, OS, and from pathlib, path. Next, set the folder location of where you want the downloaded attachments to reside on your local computer. I'm going to call my variable folder path and use this location. Now, let's enter all the details needed to connect to our mailbox. We will set the email address as email underscore user and this will be an input field that prompts us to enter the email address. Let's do the same for the password field, make it an input. Actually, since this is a password, we should mask it. Let's add the getPass library and call getPass instead. We're going to set the context with SSL to encrypt the connection, like so. Then we will call imaplib, where we set our server name, port address, and context. This command will log into the email with our email address and password specified. Our emails will reside in our inbox, so we will select inbox, but this can be any target folder in your mailbox. We want to search all data in our mailbox, and you do that with this command. Let's specify our mail IDs and then split that into a list. Let's loop through our mail IDs, which is basically an identification for each mail. We are going to fetch the mail and get its raw contents, decode it, and assign each to different variables. These are the lines to do that. Now. 
we need to convert the byte literal to a string with the following commands. Now, let's target emails with attachments and download them. We're going to loop over the messages and if it contains an attachment or listed as multi-part, let's grab some details on it. If it is a multi-part or content disposition is none, we want to continue with that message. Otherwise, we move on to the next message. I'm also going to create a list in order to keep track of emails already downloaded in the event an email contains multiple attachments. The rest of the code is self-explanatory, so let's go through it quickly. This is the folder location that we set to have our attachments downloaded to. If we go ahead and run our script, we are prompted for our username and password. Let's enter that. And we get an error, file path not defined. The P in file path needs to be capitalized. Okay, let's do that again. Username, password. and our folders with names and email addresses have been created. Let's check our mailbox. The emails are no longer in our mail in our inbox. Let's check our process folder. It contains both emails. AIP testing has two attachments and AIP solutions has one attachment. That's correct. And that's it folks, I hope you found this video somewhat helpful and if you do require help or assistance please reach out to us at hello at aipsolutions.tech. Full code will be left in the description. Brought to you by AIP Solutions.